Hello, my friends. Today we are at Adventure Park USA, which is in Monrovia, Maryland. It's about an hour north of Six Flags America to give you an idea of where we're at. They have three coasters here that are new to me and I can't wait to check them out. So where I started from here at the mini golf course, it doesn't look like it's open, but this park, as you can see by the sign here, it does an sort of all ride type of wristband that you can buy or you can do a pay per ride with a type of point system. So I see over there is a mini golf course. Not sure if that's open. I see some people playing cornhole. There's a tilt whirl right behind it. Then over on this side, we have a scrambler and one of those slides. Walked a little bit further back here to where the tilt whirl is. There are indeed people playing mini golf, which that looks fun. And then over here is the tumbleweed, the kitty coaster that they have in this park. So this tumbleweed coaster looks very similar, very, very similar to the Miller coaster we saw over at uh, Jolly Roger Park in Ocean City. Yeah, I think this might be the same exact model, to be honest. But either way, let's give this a try and then we'll be moving on. So that's about what you'd expect from that style kitty coaster. Uh, the bumps are always fun. The kids' reactions are always the greatest, though. Over on the other side of the park is where the more serious roller coasters are. And those, I think if I remember right through my research, they have some history to them. So coming over from that area, walk down over here. Back there is Wild West Express. And then just in front of us here is Wildcat, which again, looks very similar to the one that was at Jolly Roger Park in Ocean City, Maryland. getting done here with Wildcat and it was just like the one uh, from the other day at Jolly Roger Park. It's a cool ride. It is a little dated. It's a 1970s type of style roller coaster but the unique thing about it is that it's been to more parks than I think most people have to be honest. I, I had to pull up a list because there was that many. So it started as the Wildcatze at Busch Gardens Williamsburg back in like the 70s and then eventually it moved over to Playland Park in Rye, I don't know if you guys remember when I met Coaster the Dragon. Then it went down to Atlantic City at Steel Pier as Wildcat. Then Williams Grove Amusement Park. I haven't heard of that one, but it was Wildcat there. Until finally, it moved over here. How crazy is that? This thing has been relocated so many times, but the biggest difference here with Adventure Park USA is they actually sandblasted and repainted this entire thing to make it look like extra nice. So. Good for them. The uh, ride vehicle even looked really nice. So props to that. Venture Park USA taking care of their coasters. So walking from Wildcat here, there are some go-karts here. I believe it's included with the wristband that I picked up. Uh, there's some bumper boats just behind there a picnic grove and then they have one of these like slingshot uh, sky coaster thingies uh, but over here they have a himalaya and i wanted to show you just something kind of random right next to where you would check your height they have this thing here where it says text cactus to this number so you can ride it and i can only imagine that is because they don't have enough ride operators to go around so maybe that way they know where to go if there's it, with kitty rides it, it definitely makes sense but I even spotted one of those over here on the go-karts. Cause you know, typically with a couple of like pods, let's call them, of those kitty attractions that just simply go in a circle. It's easy when you have a light crowd to just kind of have the operator hop back and forth to the different rides as demand, to meet the demand of the guests that want to ride them. Sometimes it's just one party that wants to go from ride to ride. I've experienced that myself. 
So it's interesting to see that they have a system in place to kind of support that. Just thought it was worth noting. So we're here now at the Wild West Express, which apparently is a Zamperla windstorm. I don't believe I have ever heard of this model before. I was kind of trying to follow the layout of the track and this little drop here is probably the most intense one that I see. It goes down and then it comes back up like this and then straightens out. I don't really see anything too crazy other than maybe this one here, but that one doesn't look nearly as steep. So that was a surprisingly fun, unassuming little ride. I wish that there was more padding somewhere because the bar that comes down into the lap bar is just metal. There's no padding anywhere. My thighs were hitting the sides and oh, it hurt. It hurt so much, guys. Fun fact about this one. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it. It started its life. It's another relocated coaster. It started its life in Old Town in Kissimmee and then made its way up here. So interesting little connection there. So we have all of the roller coasters here being relocated coasters, some a little bit closer than the others. Wildcat is the one that's had a lot of different relocations apparently. It's just, it's fun to, to see, like I, I've been on one of these that started at Cedar Point and now another one that started at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. It's pretty cool. I am very thankful at the timing of this, but it has started drizzling. So this is probably a good time as any to head into the main entrance, which also serves as their arcade, which is the building right in the center of the frame here. So we now made it indoors, and you can see that it's uh, very well themed to this whole Wild West sort of thing. Uh, one fun thing that I noticed as I walked in is they have sort of a vending machine for the mini golf. So you have to pay for the ball, and I guess the ball gets collected elsewhere when you're playing, and it kind of just runs itself because I haven't noticed anybody up here. But here is the arcade. It is actually, it's small but impressive. In addition to the arcade, they have a couple other things here, like this XD Theater, which is a motion simulator ride. And I guess they have a collection of different movies that they're playing here, like Cosmic Coaster 6D. Towards the back of the arcade here, they do have a frog hopper. Always nice to see one of those, I guess. And then some sort of VR shooting experience? I have never seen something like this before. It's very interesting. They call it Hollowgate. Hmm. Back in the corner here, they do have a spin zone ride, so I didn't expect them to have rides in here. That's pretty cool. And then from that back corner over there, they do have some, I guess, is this like mini bowling, 10 pin bowling? The balls are significantly smaller, so I believe that's what it's called. So on the opposite side of this space, away from the arcade, is the Whistle Stop Barbecue or Whistle Stop Smokehouse. And it looks like a full service uh, restaurant and you can see it's pretty busy right now because they are celebrating multiple birthdays today. And I also saw a couple of groups come in. That's pretty cool to see. So what can we say about Adventure Park USA? It seems like a nice little well-maintained park. Definitely up and coming. I see a lot of progress coming here in the, in the near future. A couple of new rides. Maybe some sort of expansions. And maybe some more relocated coasters. That could definitely be a thing. But it seems like everything that they're doing is being done uh, with with passion whereas uh, some of these other parks can kind of just be in it for the money and just do the bare minimum if you know what I mean but you could definitely spend like a solid half a day here doing everything that is in here especially indoors I didn't realize there were so many attractions indoors to explore and then you have all the stuff on the outside as well yeah you could definitely for like a family park this is pretty solid so anyway guys all that being said Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you go on your own adventure. Bye.